With disassembly and cleaning covered in our previous videos, next up is lubrication. Before getting started, it's important to note that over-lubrication will do more harm than good by attracting and retaining debris. So with that in mind, we'll grab a quality gun oil like Break Free and get started. Starting with the receiver, we'll add a drop to the rails on either side where the bolt rides. Allow the oil to run down and completely coat the rails and wipe away any excess. Moving on to the bolt, we'll add a few drops to the exterior and spread it around for an even coating. Next, add a drop to the pivot point of the link bar and take a second to work it in. We'll also want to add a drop on either side of the bolt in the slots where the bolt rides in the receiver. After that, a good rule of thumb is to closely inspect all working parts for any areas where the finish has been worn off. This is a sure spot of friction and a great place to add a bit of lube. Then we'll do a little bit of lubrication to the trigger group. All we'll need to do is place a drop on the pivot point of the hammer. Then place your thumb over the hammer, move the safety to the fire position, engage the safety sear, pull the hammer and work in the oil. Lastly, and most importantly, apply a light coat of brake free to the magazine tube and wipe most of it away to ensure that the recoil system functions properly. And that's all there is to it. These guns have been functioning flawlessly for generations with little to no TLC. So again, we stress using minimal lubrication to keep them shooting for generations to come. And with that, we're ready to reassemble. So be sure to check out the final installment covering how to do just that.